In this lecture, I am going to show when and how to use the partials. Right now, we are using the URLs to navigate to different pages like home, about, etc. But is this the correct way? We have the better way. Actually, the application must have a navigation menu to navigate between different pages. So let's create a navigation menu. In index.ejs file inside the body section, I am creating a nav tag for navigation. Nav and inside nav tag, I am creating an unordered list that is UL. And inside UL, I am creating few allies that is list items. And inside ally, I am adding an anchor tag that is anchor a href equals slash and the value inside anchor tag, I'll say home. Adding one more ally, anchor tag href equals slash about and the value about. Let me save the file and refresh. So here we have the navigation menu now. Let me add some basic styling to it. In head section, I am writing a style tag ul curly brackets and display colon flex so now the menu will be displayed horizontally next i will write list dash style colon none to remove the bullets from the menu and padding zero next i'm going to add some space between this menu to do that i am going to give the styles to ally ally brackets and padding right colon 20 pixels and some more styling to the anchor tag the element selector a brackets text decoration to none font size to extra large and also let me give font weight bold let's save the file and refresh the browser looks better now now let me click on home and the content gets refreshed and if I click on about it is taking us to the about page. Now how do I go back? So I need to add the navigation menu in the about page as well. I will have to copy this content and paste it in about.ejs as well. Now here I have only two pages so I can easily copy and paste the content. But what if I have a list of pages? This will be a repetition of work every time I have to copy these many lines of code to add the header. But I am not going to do that. Instead, what I will do here is I am going to create a partial template. That is, this template will only have the header. So here I am creating a partial folder inside the pages folder. Well, I could have created this folder anywhere, but to give the application a proper and meaningful structure, I am creating this in the pages folder. Okay, so now I am creating a file header.ejs and I am copying the nav content and paste this in header ejs. I am not writing the other stuff like HTML body etc. as this anyway is to be included inside the HTML tag. And also I will copy the style tag and paste it here. Let's save this and now finally I will include this partial wherever I want. And to include this I will write here less than percentage hyphen include and the path of the partial template which we want to include. Here in this case it is partial slash header and percentage greater than. And we are done. Let me remove this nav and style from here. Let me also copy this line and paste in about.ejs as well. Let's save it. And once again, refresh the browser. Let me click on home. Content is refreshed. And click on about. We have the about page and the menu as well. That's fantastic. So this is how the partials work and also it helps us to avoid repetition of the same code.